All right, we're here in the Bagat. Uh, it's probably one of the fastest cars in the Forza Touring now. And uh, there's not many cars in this one, but we're going to do the last to first. Uh, and then this guy just he's going so slow. I just didn't really expect that and um, I kind of just goes through him if you'd catch back up then I would definitely give him that spot back, but uh, We don't really have to worry about that. Um, I did say a sorry there uh, did not realize he's gonna be pretty much stopped in that corner And this guy kind of just pushes the other guy out of the way and uh, we're able to get around to him all the way up to sixth place. Got just a good draft on him here, just slowly reeling him in. I cut a little corner, a little bit on that corner. Luckily, we didn't get any uh, penalty. We're able to go flying around the outside here. And he's able to cut up the center or the middle. Sorry, the inside there. And we're able to hold the outside around there and get the position. Now we just got to close that four second gap here to the guys in front. And then he goes way off in the grab. I'm not sure what happened to him, but we were able to get around that pretty quick there. And then a long straight here. We do have a really good acceleration, but the guy in front just is a quicker overall top speed here we haven't quite nailed that corner either I guess but we did catch some time there he's 6.1 seconds and gained a, about half a second there we are kind of cooking our tires off We're slowly closing this gap to third. Now we're almost a whole second quicker just on this lap alone than leader. I think he's trying to defend against someone up there. Definitely slowing him down a lot. Go around the outside here on the third or fourth. No, this third place, sorry. And we're able to secure that. And we had a really good corner there, just right on the uh, edge of the track limits there. And we kind of push out a little bit. being a little cautious here just because I don't want to make a mistake but I mean like I would say qualifying is where you put down fast laps races kind of where you just at least get in a rhythm and put down some good consistent laps and we have knocked almost three seconds off from uh, you know the lead uh, over the previous lap, or I guess two seconds off. Really helps that they're kind of fighting for the position there. We 
just three seconds behind second place now. And this thing just has really good acceleration out of the, I guess overall, where I feel it does better than the Audi is just the pure acceleration from it. Now we close that gap to 2.6. Now here's where it comes to uh, the next lap is kind of where it gets interesting in like regards to pit strategy. Um, but as you can see, we are kind of do burn off our tires on this car a little quicker. With that quicker acceleration, kind of adds to it. like first place is starting to pull away and I'm hoping that we get a good pit stop here on this next lap when we go in I know this this pit stop can kind of be kind of tricky. It kind of tightens up on that corner when you go in. So I know some people end up hitting the barrier or uh, missing it altogether. Kind of slide a little far. Our tires are pretty shot by now. pretty gone and we're just one wheel peeling through that corner there and now yeah, we're coming up with the pit uh, area and we're just gonna make sure we don't don't mess up and hit the barrier and that guy ends up missing and take you know ends up going back on the grass and going going through so uh, in first place just decide to stay out and um, we end up getting that really good. We timed it perfectly and uh, I think we gained a little bit of time there on the pit stop. The downside now is some of these guys are staying out even though they're slower. They haven't gotten like new tires or anything and we are now going to be coming up right behind them which is going to slow us down. I was kind of nervous about this Audi because I thought it was the one from early in the race where he kind of pushed that other guy out of the way. But we ended up getting past him pretty clean. I slowed down a little bit because I was worried I was going to push out into him. Twenty-five seconds behind the leader, and uh, he is still doing his pit stop here. Downside is now he's gonna have a lot of fresher tires for the last couple or the last lap of the race. And unfortunately, he was still pretty quick through the. Uh, pretty quick through these laps even with his most likely worn tires so we did catch uh, catch up to him a lot in this uh, section here as you can see he went from like a 25 second to like a you know 21 we're really catching him through here
easily able to get past the PT spark, spork. And so, um, we're trying to catch clay snuff here, and we're just about the same amount of gap that we were when before I went to the pits and before he went to the pits, so. Yeah, and there's definitely places I could uh, be quicker on this track, but we still did a pretty good time. And we are slowly reeling them in here. bit of time there just because we got a little far a little wide and we hit the grass and I was worried about going wide again so we're losing time on that and making small mistakes so I mean I think the guy is still pretty good even though we're kind of losing time to this guy it's just to my own issues um what guys like just let me know what you think in the comments on what car you think is the best one in the or is a touring car. Yeah, and then we pushed a little too hard there and ended up losing a lot of time when we cut that corner. And after that, I kind of decided to just tone it back a little bit and He's obviously gonna get a little gap on us here now that he has the better tires. just starting to pull away with his uh, better tires and we have a little bit worse grip than him so he's pulling away from us now we are a little quicker through that section than he is but he definitely has us on straight line speed Last lap, we're kind of hoping that he'll end up making a mistake or something will happen here, and you know, my tires kind of get worn down too. So, and that guy, he must have just had a really good wear on his tires because we we're not able to get, uh, anywhere close to him on the grip he's having towards the end of the races or even like when he was down that one uh went that one extra lap than we did and he's still pretty much keeping the same pace as he was previously he's making a little bit of mistakes here and we're catching him a little bit so i'm hoping that maybe he'll make a big one on that sand trap at the end and we can get him through that corner I 
Now towards this time where front tires are getting real, real shoddy. And they're uh, got very little grip at this point. We almost go into the uh, gravel pit ourselves here. And then uh, once again, we're just sliding off and uh, he just, he just pulls away from us. Well, that's the end of the race. I mean, I do think the God's one of the better cars now. Thanks again for all your support and uh, thanks for watching. Like the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.